For the Tampa Bay Rays, Shane McClanahan will take the mound tonight. His 13th start of the season, looking for win number four. This will be his third start against the Blue Jays. He's given up four earned runs in 10 in the third innings against them on the season. McClanahan's going to need all four pitches tonight. The fastball, the slider, but then the curveball and that changeup, too. This one is lifted into left center field. That's Kiermaier at the wall and a little leap there. A liner and it's going to be caught by Joey Wendell, who has left a bit. Here's Vladdy Guerrero. Reached him for a home run last time. That's the beauty of having Springer hitting behind him now. There's a line drive that's going to get down in center field. Kiermaier cuts it off. Vladdy will hold with a long single. Another base hit for Guerrero that gives him 105 for the season. Ground ball shortstop. Taylor Walls with the throw to first in time. Bases left loaded. Bottom of the first coming. No score. They're set to take on the big right hander, Alec Manoa. 23 year old rookie faced the Rays for the first time in his career on July the 2nd. He took a no hitter into the sixth inning, striking out a franchise record seven straight batters at one point. He finished with seven shutout innings uh, to go along with 10 strikeouts. By far his best outing of his career. Two balls, two strikes. There's a good slider, and Manoa gets his first strikeout. Hard strikeout for the first out of the bottom of the first inning. Full count, two outs. Swing and a miss, another good slider. Manoa has a terrific start to his game. Ground ball, backhand by Walls, and what a play that is. I'll tell you, he made a difficult play look routine right there. Two and two to count to Biggio. And strike three call, Biggio caught looking. Good movement with that fastball, but he's got to locate it better on the outer half. One and two. There's a good pitch called strike. Fastball right at the top of the zone. Two and two now to Kiermaier. Austin Meadows at first. He drew the leadoff walk. Manoa has three strikeouts so far in this game. And there's the slider. Make it four strikeouts. It came back with a slider. Kiermaier swings and misses. One and two. Two away. Fastball foul tipped and McGuire hangs on to it. So the pass ball doesn't factor in. Tampa Bay leaves a runner in scoring position. Bo Bichette both lined out to the second baseman. His only time up. Hit hard down the left field line. That's a fair ball. All the way to the foul pole and Bichette will cruise into second with a one out double. That's his 18th double. Of the season. Springer do a walk in the first inning. No score with Bichette at second. Springer hits a base hit in the center. That's going to score a run. Here comes the throw from Kiermaier and is not in time. Bo Bichette got a chance to go on contact with two outs and the Blue Jays break out on top. George Springer picks up the RBI, his 11th of the season. One nothing Blue Jays. Kind of hand making his third start of the year against Toronto. Kind of a refresher course and they've had some tough at bats against him. And strike three call top of the zone. Grichik a word with the plate umpire when he leaves. He's caught looking just one run scores one nothing. Now let's see if Brett Phillips can do something. That's a shot into right center field. Well tagged. Going to bound to the wall and up over the wall. That's a ground rule double. Zanino will stop at third on the double by Phillips. Meadows with a long little soft liner going to fall. Beats it into right. Zanino has scored. Phillips will score. And the Rays take the lead two to one. Did it it hard and had just enough. To get it over the head of Simeon into shallow right field, and the Rays grab the lead. Joy waits for the 2 1. And he's hit by that pitch. Joy hit by a pitch to force home a run. That's a base hit. 
driven through the hole between short and third. Zanino is on for the third time. Almost about a month of the season earlier. Fly ball short left. Hernandez coming in a hurry, but it's going to fall well in front of him for a base hit. The Rays put the first two men on. So both men are now in scoring position for G-Man Choi. Well, Choi has been up there in some key spots. He was hit by a pitch in the fourth that got a run home. There's going to be a base hit in the center. Zanino scores. Here comes Phillips. He will score, and G-Man comes through again. Two runs batted in on that base hit to center, and the Rays lead five to one. Well, G-Man Choi, they're trying to come in. He stays inside of that ball just enough with the infield pulled in. If he could just get the ball airborne, and he does that. Good situational hitter. So Wendell leads at second base. Kiermaier will do the same at first. Line shot into center. There's a base hit. That ball will go all the way to the track. Wendell scores. Kiermaier scores. It's a double for Walls. And the Rays tack on two more. It's seven to one. It's a high popper. Zanino makes the catch. And that takes care of Guriel. So he's out on strikes. And a swing and a miss. Vigio out of there on strikes. Another one for Fire Ison. 14 strikeouts on the night. For Rays pitching, and they take the first game of this series seven to one.